All right, hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're gonna play another Halloween game called Witches and Wizards. And the way this works is we have all these cones lined up at half court and the kids will walk or run by and as soon as they pick up a cone, it becomes a witch hat and they put it on their head and they have to run and get it back to their bases. Now, as they do that, the wizards are going around with their wands and if you get tagged while you're wearing a witch hat and you become a witch, you have to drop it right where you're at and then you have to hop back to your circle, back to your home with nothing with you and then become a human again. So you kind of, you get turned into a frog and you hop back to your home. And then once you get there, you can come back, be a human again, but you can't tag people unless they're wearing the witch hat. You know, the witch hat's on, you get tagged, you become a frog, you drop it, and you start hopping back to your spot. You get to your spot, you're a human again, you try to get you another witch hat. And the person who has the most hats at their home at the, or at their base at the end of the game, which is the hula hoops at the end, uh, they're the winners. So uh, it's a great Halloween game for all ages. Um, for my older kids, I put a basketball in their hand while they do this. And uh, there's basketballs all over the court, so they actually can't do, they can't do anything until they get a basketball and a witch hat. So it's a lot of fun. Check this game out. I hope you put it into PE uh, sometime this week. And let's have a spooky week in PE. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.